Hey audience, guess how many plays the song Yeah has. How many was it? Was it 800 million, Colin? It was a lot. Let's make a movie. Hey guys, I'm Sam. Let's talk about multi-piece wheels today and see if they are worth it or not. When you hear the words multi-piece wheels, you probably think money and a lot of it, and rightfully so because a lot of these wheels just aren't cheap. And you know what? I'll be honest, they're not cheap. I'm not here to tell you, hey, we're talking about cheap wheels. No, multi-piece wheels are kind of expensive. So let's get that established right away so it's out of the way to start with. That's probably also why a lot of you click on this video because you know these wheels are expensive as hell. So you're wondering, are they worth it or not? I'll get some personal bias out of the way here and say that I do love me some multi-piece wheels. Some of my favorite models are the Work VSKF, BBS LM, Blitz 01, Volk GTC, Volk CV Pro, and the Workmeister three-piece. I also do love what we've done with our own Anovia wheels and the absolute insane amount of customization that you can do on our site. You can literally go there right now and make a quote. You literally work with gels too to do it, it's awesome. Real quick, let's get established on what we're talking about when it comes to multi-piece wheels before we get into the detail of all this. A multi-piece wheel is super simple. It's literally a wheel that's made of multiple pieces. Yeah, that's all it is, like one, two, maybe three pieces usually comes in two different varieties. So variety number one is a two-piece wheel. An example of this style of multi-piece wheel would be the BBS LM. I actually restored a pair of these last year and it was super cool process to do and I learned a ton. Then I had a bolt snap on my knuckle and it dug out a ton of the barrels, just like ground it out. And my friend picked up like the shavings off the track and he's like, hey, here's your LM. Uh, with this two-piece style, you have the face bolted to the single-piece barrel. You don't have as much customization when it comes to the style of wheel with the specs, but it's much simpler and also a usually, usually a bit lighter weight. There's also a two-piece welded style of wheel, which is very similar, but the face would essentially be welded to the barrel. This is not really as common of a style anymore, but the Super Advan is an example of this, and that's an absolutely iconic wheel in itself. Now, what most of us think of when we hear the multi-piece is the super baller three-piece wheels. In this construction, you have the face of the wheel, sometimes called the center, and then an outer barrel, usually called the lip, and an inner barrel. One, two, three-piece wheels, multi-piece wheels, really simple. These wheels are also usually a bit heavier compared to their two-piece uh, counterpart due to the construction and additional hardware, but they are also the most customizable when it comes to the fitment. That brings us to the next topic of figuring out if these wheels are worth it or not, a little thing called <laughs> Multi-piece wheels allow you to dial in an absolute perfect fitment without ever needing a spacer whatsoever. This is because you can spec out the perfect combination of a face and barrel or barrels if it's a three-piece option. If you want that hella flush fitment and a super deep lip, a three-piece setup is going to be what you want and it's kind of style of fitment that you're going for. Also, if you have a wide body kit on your car or a different set of fenders in stock, you'll be able to get that fitment figured out. Wide body in a car really, really changes any sort of fitment spec. So you're gonna kind of need to go the multi-piece route unless there's a super reliable one-piece option out there that you know with that chassis to get that perfect fitment without having to run a giant spacer. Ask Gels about that on his RX-8. <clears throat> so here's kind of the age old question. Do you wide body a car to get three piece wheels or do you get three piece wheels to wide body the car? It's like a chicken and the egg. Like what comes first? I don't think anyone ever knows. And I'd probably use getting three piece wheels that are giant as an excuse to wide body the car. I don't know. Let me know what you do in the comments below. The other thing we gotta talk about with multi-piece wheels is customization and holy moly, do you get a lot of it here. Not only do you get to customize the fitment specs as I just mentioned before, but you also get the customization of all the different aspects of the wheel. Do you want a different color inner barrel compared to the lip and then a totally different color on the face? Sure, you can do that. Do you want two different colors of hardware? Yup, you can do that. Also, I think that's super cool. You can go like silver and gold alternate it and make it super kind of dazzly. I like that. You can go absolutely wild with this on customization. Some of this can be done when ordering the wheels, but once you have the wheels, you can also take them apart and do something totally new if you don't like the original look. I love seeing how people take a set of wheels, take them apart and do a different finish, which totally changes the look. Maybe they've had those wheels for like five years and they just want something different. You can totally do that, it looks really cool. That brings us to another thing. You can basically keep a set of multi-piece wheels forever across different platforms if you want by swapping barrels and faces to match the new vehicle. I know this sounds kind of weird, but you can totally do this if you want and you're willing to get creative or do some searching for even a different face, we have a different bolt pattern. Multi-piece wheels are also pretty darn durable if you're going to be tracking your car. Tracking a car with expensive multi-piece wheels sounds kind of crazy, but trust me, 
people do it. Swing by a final bout event sometime and you'll see some of the nicest wheels on some of the nicest cars driving harder than you can ever imagine. Highly recommend it, 11 out of 10 experience. Let's say you drop a wheel off the track and bend your lip, that sucks. You can hammer that lip back into place and keep driving while with the monoblock wheel, you can't really hammer that back. Hopefully it bends and you still don't lose air in a monoblock, otherwise if you're hammering it, it's gonna crack. You can also source a new lip for that multi-piece wheel after the event, take it apart, put it back together and replace it and you're good to go. The vast majority of multi-piece wheels you'll be looking at have a pretty darn good pedigree when it comes to durability. There's a long history with them. They've been out for a long time, um, so they're known to be good wheels. There also aren't many questionable materials here because many times these are the absolute flagship line of wheels for their respective manufacturers, so quality is number one. We started this whole discussion by talking about how these wheels aren't low cost options. When it comes to an argument against multi-piece wheels, cost is really the main one against that in my opinion. The other thing that's worth mentioning is the weight. I kind of mentioned it before, but these usually are pretty beefy boys uh, when you're looking at a set of multi-piece wheels and lightweight isn't something really uh, known in the multi-piece community. You can find some obscure or older models of wheels made with magnesium faces that are usually reserved for some serious race car stuff and those are lighter, but that's kind of on the fringe of what we're talking about here. So, are multi-piece wheels worth it? That's what we came here to answer. I really believe that multi-piece wheels are worth it. The entry fee can be high on them, but you get a lot of benefits. First and foremost, they look absolutely freaking lootly killer. You can dial that fitment in no matter your fitment specs and also get the exact color combination to match your build and really set it off how you want. You can also keep these wheels, like I said, said before, kind of like forever and swap parts out to put them on a new build or just refresh them to update your current look. One other thing worth mentioning is that once you have your set of multi-piece wheels, they generally hold their value pretty darn well. If you're ever looking to sell them, you can usually get a decent amount of money back for what you paid for them, or honestly, maybe even make some money if that model isn't currently available or some unique finish that you currently can't get. They are also great for trades out there. So once you are kind of in that top tier category of wheels, you can kind of swim around up there and maintain your baller status and just swap out different wheels. So yeah, multi-piece wheels are absolutely worth it, guys. I appreciate you watching the video. I'm Sam, peace.